hundreds of surfaces, and with each touch, each touch, we're at risk of running into the coronavirus. That's why WRL investigates tested some common high-touch areas to see if we could find the virus. Colin Browner joins us now live with what we tested and what we found. Colin? Well, Deborah and David, well, much of the concern, and rightfully so, is breathing in COVID. Consider all the surfaces we touch. Then you touch your, your face, maybe your mouth. Just in the work break room, you touch the coffee maker. You, you touch the handle on the microwave. You grab a snack. Well, now multiply that by all the places we go, and we decided to test. If we continued to washing your hands, Wash your hands. Washing your hands right away. We've heard it for months. Washing your hands is important to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Research shows most people are listening, even though it's still not clear exactly how long the virus lives on surfaces. Yeah, big on hand sanitizer afterwards. Um, I'm fine touching surfaces. I think that's not maybe as big with spreading COVID. WRAL investigates hit the streets to see if we can find the virus on surfaces that are part of our daily routines. The grocery store, the gas pump, the gym, and the playground. Armed with a testing kit from EnviroTech, Investigates producer Randall Kirk swab surfaces that get touched over and over every day. The keypad and pump at the gas station, refrigerator handle and keypad at the grocery store, handles in the weight room at the gym, and several areas of the playground where kids constantly touch. The type of environmental testing that we do is um, primarily looking at hard surfaces. We spoke to Shula Jaren, who heads up in viral tech before getting our results. She helped start the company back in March with a focus on testing nursing homes, and it worked. Our environmental tests detected uh, up to a week ahead of when anybody started showing symptoms. So they, they, these facilities would have had no other way to know that they had somebody shedding virus in their facilities. And the answers come quickly. About 24 hours after mailing in our swabs, we had the results. The gym with all the sweat and heavy breathing, negative. The grocery store from which you bring products into your home, negative. The playground, which brings together lots of families, negative. But the gas pump, touched by people who could come from just about anywhere, positive. It's just unexpected, so you should be prepared at, at all levels to protect yourself. I'm not surprised uh, regarding the gas pump, to be honest with you now. After the positive hit, we reached back out to Jared for context. I think gas stations are probably a common place because so many people are coming in and out of gas stations. And Viral Tech grades their positive results low, medium, and high. The gas pump was low, which likely means the virus was no longer alive. This does not mean that the um, what we detected was infectious. It just means that um, somebody coming by um, likely shed virus. Contagious or not, the results provide a lesson in why health officials are urging people to follow the three W's, wear, wait, and wash, because you never know where the virus is. It makes me a little more mindful of what to do when I go to a gas station. I definitely am gonna start really wiping down the pump before I grab it. Stuff like the keyboard, maybe wipe that down before I touch it. Um, yeah, it's concerning. So I know people want to know, so that gas station pump was at the Exxon at Centennial Parkway and Lake Wheeler Road in Raleigh. Shortly after we got the positive result back, we contacted them to let them know. But keep in mind, the virus really could be on any surface, and that is exactly why you have got to take the precautions yourself to protect yourself. I think it's why a lot of us keep hand sanitizer in the car and mm -hmm. the wipes and everything. So as soon as I finish pumping gas, I always wash my hands, right? That, like that way. Color Router.